All of the core decentralized technologies, software, communication solutions, and integration platforms are all built across the foundation of the CorePass decentralized digital ID application. And with me are three founders of the company, also investment banker, investor board member, Doug Anderson of Wall Street Capital Partners. So, uh, Michael Lobster, you're chairman of the company. Why did you start Core Decentralized Technologies? What is the company all about? Well, um, it starts off actually uh, for in, in, in the principles of reach and the principles of security. And uh, this is technically one of the key things of the network and the, the, the software that we've built. What is critical is um, we, uh, we have identified the situations around uh, security uh, and as you know also in the past, you know, in the last days we've seen a lot of security breaches and um, the possibilities of uh, data scraping and then of course you know the most important thing is the only way to be able to manage this um, project is or to manage the situation is by way of going into a decentralized environment this is the only true way where you go into a peer-to-peer -peer environment where you exclude any other entrances into the market and Oki can maybe expand a little bit about that uh, if you want, okay. Sure, thanks, Dad. Um, so, yeah, what is what is very important about our business is that it's built on three legs. The first leg is, of course, digital identity, because you need to be able to identify something, someone, an object in a digital environment and in a digital economy. And the next thing that we did is, is uh, we we're, we're a software solutions and technology provider company and we facilitate transactions and settlement in, in, in lightning speed of 42 seconds where the actual assets are transferred. It's not an IOU that is transferred and transfer is not just related to financial transfer, it's also about data transfer. Any, any transaction you do is actually data. And this is where the third leg of the business is, which is communication and reach. And, and that is what the foundation of the entire company is, which we then built the entire digital economy um, and ecosystem that we actually developed. This, this is how the whole business and, and the foundation of the business was built up from the ground upwards. The software is finished and uh, we're rolling out, so it's not a question of a mountain of stall development. Uh, we are focused on rolling out and getting into the market. The biggest aspect to blockchain is reach and transparency and scalability. Um, and this is exactly why we, we also built our own mesh network where we could run the blockchain without the use of internet um, and any other applications that we build on top of this. Now, our um, network that we've built is an entire mesh network that's a peer-to-peer -peer decentralized mesh network focused on IoT devices to basically create a peer-to-peer -peer connection, uh, peer -peer connection. And these peer-to-peer -peer connections can then distribute um, across the entire uh, platform or across the entire world um, for, 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 for that matter. And what is, what is quite interesting about um, our mesh network is that we can stream at uh, up to 600 megabits per second. We can stream from a singular device up to 500 kilometers in an omnidirection. Um, of course, the further you get away from the center point of the device, the um, further, uh, the, the, the slower the reach becomes. But if you put multiple other peers in there, the, the speed still maintains itself. So it's like a participation and like a community that will actually distribute the new internet to um, bring down the, 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 the infrastructure costs, further the reach, and increase the speeds um, and basically create an equal opportunity for people to have communication because communication we see as a human right. Hey, tell me about ED448. What is that? Yeah. Why is that significant? We, we implement ED448, the advanced school, which is a brand new cryptography with the most advanced cryptography, which empowers us with the speed, with the uh, reach and also with the security of our blockchain network. This gives us a verified transaction in 42 seconds and you have information immediately. 
then we build on top of it YLAM smart contract functionality that we can program. We can program uh, anything on the blockchain, we can program regulation, we can program multiple things on the smart contract functionality. Then the cryptography is very important to work with big businesses, with uh, organization, even the government. And finally, Doug, I mean, you're on the board, investor, investment banker. I mean, what do you expect Wall Street's reaction to be to an innovative company like this? Why is the timing right for a company you like this? <clears throat> Jane, it's, I get it. This is technical. Mm. It's hard to get your arms around the significance of this. But let me just start with this. I've been on Wall Street over 20 years. This is the biggest deal I've ever been involved with. It's the biggest deal I've ever seen. And you don't have to take my word for it. Let's, t let's talk about the guys that I brought on the board of directors. What did we just talk about here? We just talked about cell phone technology. Um, and um, the uh, ability for people to communicate with the cell phone and its uh, proliferation around the world. So who's the biggest guy in the cell phone business that I could think of? Well, Craig McCaw, you know, McCaw Cellular was really the grandfather of cell phones. And Michael Milken and a guy named John Beyer at, at McCaw Cellular, who was international um, director, um, he, uh, they, uh, brought this to at and and that became cell phones everywhere. So he knows that business. The other thing he knows is after that, he, he was uh, CEO of a company called Widevine. So uh, Widevine was bought out by a little company called Google. And to this day, that's one of the backbones of, of Google, Widevine. It's their internet security and it's streaming and, and, mm -hmm. and then, after that, he was international dr uh, director of Real Networks. Well, Real Networks, that's, you, you have Netflix, you have uh, Hulu, you have, uh, uh, you know, Pandora, the music apps, things like this. That's possible because of Real Networks. So all of that technology. I brought him on the board and he looked at it and he said, Doug, I don't believe this because a decentralized network, a true decentralized network doesn't exist. And if it did, it'd be extremely fast. Uh, it would be unhackable. And you wouldn't have these problems like you saw, you know, a month ago, Facebook down with 3 billion yeah. view, you know, users mm -hmm. out. So he looked at it. He brought in some very strong experts from AT&T and other companies to look at it. And he said, they did it. And, and he said, this is the biggest deal I've ever been um, involved in. Now that's coming from a guy that was in those three deals, for example. Um, what's the most successful software in, in history? Mm. Well, that would be probably Windows. Mm -hmm. The godfather of Windows, the guy who actually named it, I think he was employee 31, hired personally by Bill Gates, that's Roland Hansen. Mm. Uh, I showed this to Roland, he looked at it from that angle, and he said, Doug, this would be the biggest deal I've ever been involved in. It's bigger than Windows. I mean, can you imagine You'll never have to log in for connectivity again. You'll log in for the last time soon. Yeah. That would be uh, nice. You know, no more, <laughs> what's, the, what's your Wi-Fi password? What's, mm -hmm. what, what's your Wi-Fi password? All you have to do is know what you are, who you are, and, and once you know, that's verified, it's verified. Another guy I brought on, uh, one of the top economists in the country um, that you know, was recognized he's on television almost every night, Stephen Moore. Why did Stephen come on? Stephen came on because guess what? When you can settle uh, bank transactions in less than 42 seconds, whereas today, if I have a business in Munich and I wire funds to Mexico and it takes a week, three weeks, a month mm -hmm. for that transaction to clear, these guys do it in 42 seconds flat every time, unhackable. Um, that's a global economy reset. All right, thank you so much, very interesting.